Okay, I'm going to show you a useful Bixby routine for your Galaxy Z Fold 2. I'm sure it'll work on the Z Fold 3 when that comes out as well. Really, I just feel like the target demographic for this video, if you have a Z Fold 2, but you don't have a car that is Android Auto compatible, and you're trying to use the Z Fold 2 as your your main screen when you're using navigation and controlling your music, then this video is for you. The first Bixby routine I did was just to silence my phone when I got to work. I really didn't think much of Bixby as a voice assistant, but I feel like her routines can really come in handy, so I'm going to share this one with you guys. What we're going to try to do is open an app pair with Google Maps and Google Podcasts right next to each other for when you get into your car. Those are the two apps that I immediately want open. So we're going to do this through a Bixby routine. So first I'm going to go to Bixby routines. You can see I've already got my one there for when I get to work to silence my phone. We're going to add a routine. First the if. I think this is the coolest part of the routine honestly just it knows when it connects to my car Bluetooth, which is Uconnect. That's when it's going to perform the routine. The then, this is where it gets a little trickier. It won't let you do two apps. It'll only let you open one. So we're not going to do a function. We're going to do a Bixby quick command. Now we haven't added any quick commands yet, so just click open Bixby. And here we are, a completely blank canvas for some quick commands. So we're going to add one. Here we'll say what you say to Bixby driving. This title doesn't really matter. You're just naming the quick command. Because really you're not going to have to say anything. And then this is the tricky part. When you start entering commands, we're going to type them. I feel like that's easier. So first you're going to put open... For me, I'm going to put podcasts. And what's nice is that it knows Google Podcasts because that's the official name of the app on the phone. If you have a different app, maybe you want to do Spotify, you can try typing that in. And then the second command, we're going to type it again. And this one is going to be split screen. Google. Maps. Okay, and then you hit save. So now you've created a quick command that'll execute the two steps that we want. One other thing I like about the quick command is that there's a little run button here. If you think you typed it in wrong or you just want to make sure it works, you can hit run and it'll perform the command. So you can see it did one of two, it opened podcast, and then two of two, it opened Google Maps. Now you can see it's on top of each other, which is kind of annoying. You'll also notice that the Quick Command app is now covering the podcast app. Rest assured that won't happen. So let's get rid of the map. We tested our routine. We know it works. So let's hit back. There's your Quick Command for driving. Okay, so we're back here in Bixby Routines. We've told the device when to perform the quick command, we've created the quick command, we've tested it, we know that it works. So now you're just going to hit next. It's asking for a name. I just call it driving. Okay, you can pick a little emoji for it and then hit done. So you can see now you have a routine called driving. Let's go down to the car and test it out. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a quick test of this routine that we just came up with. We'll see if it works. Sorry about the flashlight. Just want everything to be in focus. So we just got into the car. It's completely off. Just going to turn on my accessories here. Now you can see I've loaded the phone into a stand I got off of Amazon. It's a great stand. I'd recommend it. It charges. I'll put the link in the description below. Now it takes my particular car about 20 seconds just to kind of get everything going and start sending Bluetooth signals to the phone for them to connect. But during this time, I figure you'd be putting your coffee in the cup holder, 
opening your garage door, putting your seat belt on. So here, once we see that Bluetooth icon pop up, that's when we're going to start to see the routine working. Here in about two seconds. All right. Now we look at the phone. It's running the driving routine. And welcome to Armchair Expert. Uh, it opened podcasts. It actually started playing already. And then it opened Google Maps. I didn't have to touch the screen at all. My only disappointment is that it puts them one on top of the other. I would prefer them side by side. I haven't found a way to do that yet. So you will have to just tap your screen, the three dots, and tell them to go side by side. So you can see we've got Google Podcasts here, Google Maps here. They both work independently and simultaneously. If you have any tips on how to improve this routine or anything, um, just let me know. But I hope you guys found this helpful. Thanks.